धर्म का राजनीति से क्या संबंध होना चाहिए अधर्म की राजनीति नहीं होनी चाहिए वो तो है तो राजनीति धर्म की होनी चाहिए इतना संबंध होना चाहिए धर्म क्या कर सकता है राजनीति के लिए देखिए धर्म राजनीति के लिए क्या कर सकता है मैं नहीं जानता हूं लेकिन धर्म जीवन के हर अंग के लिए कर सकता है अब धर्म का मतलब अगर आप रिलीजन करते हैं तो मैं उससे सहमत नहीं हूं धर्म के लिए अंग्रेजी में कोई शब्द ही नहीं है जैसे अपने यहां कहते हैं मातृधर्म पितृधर्म शिक्षक का धर्म नौकर का धर्म उसी प्रकार से राजधर्म तो धर्म हमारे यहां कर्तव्य से जुड़ा हुआ विषय है रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी कहेंगे आप तक तो भी एकदम सीमित हो जाएगा शब्द धर्म के लिए कोई पर्यायवाची शब्द ही नहीं है कोई पर्यायवाची शब्द नहीं है और जो लोग धर्म को रिलीजन से जोड़ देते हैं ना उसी समय गड़बड़ हो जाती है रिलीजन उपासना से जुड़ा हुआ विषय है धर्म उपासना से जुड़ा हुआ विषय नहीं है और ये बहस मैं कर सकता हूँ ये मेरा पसंद का विषय है लेकिन काफी लंबा समय लगेगा आज वी हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड ए सनातन धर्म है सनातन मीन्स एटर नो टाइमलेस धर्म डज नॉट मीन रिलीजन धर्म मीन्स अ लॉ सो दे वर टॉकिंग अबाउट एटरनल लॉस विच गावन लाइफ एंड हाउ वी कैन बी इन ट्यून विथ इट right now whether you've been to school or not whether you're a great scientist or not still right now you are complying by all the physical laws on this planet yes or no hmm? otherwise you couldn't sit here and exist so similarly there are other kinds of laws which are not physical in nature which govern the life process within you so they identified these things and they said these are the laws which govern one's life but over a period of time every enthusiastic person that came from generation to generation went on adding their own stuff according to the necessity of the day or according to the necessity of the vested interests of the day in so many ways it's happened all kinds and people added many things but essentially your sanatan dharma is just this sanatan dharma identifies a human being cannot rest do what you want you he cannot rest because he longs to be something more than what he is right now you cannot stop it you teach him any kind of philosophy you cannot stop it whoever he is he wants to be little more than who he is right now if that little more happens he will seek little more and little more so if you look at it every human being unconsciously is longing to expand in a limitless way so every human being unconsciously is looking for a boundless nature or a limitless possibility or in other words every human being knowingly or ongoing unknowingly has an allergy for boundaries when you threaten his existence his instinct of self preservation will bo- will build walls of self you know protection for himself the same walls of protection when there is no external threat immediately he experiences it as walls of self imprisonment so they recognize this and said every human being is long and limitless so the first thing that you must do the moment a child becomes reasonably conscious the first thing that you must put into the child's mind is your life is about mukti about liberation everything else is secondary because the only thing that you're truly longing for is to expand in a limitless way there is something within you which can't stand boundaries so for this what are the things you should do to head in the direction they set up simple rules if you do this this and this you will naturally move in this direction you can't call this a religion okay because 
This is a place where you have been given the freedom, you can make up your own God.